Hi everyone, I'm Toni. I'm a Katona Yoga teacher based in Berlin, teaching at Original Feeling Studio. We prepared some classes for Heye's new YouTube channel, and um, we also have some music prepared, which you will find in the description box below. But usually in this practice, we don't use music because you will notice that us teachers talk a lot. But if you still want to have something in the background, feel free to use it and enjoy. I'm Tony. This is Pia, my demo girl. <laughs> um, this will be a short 10 minute class and um, we will explore the idea of feeling centered. Um, and what centered means to me is when you have a center, you always have a circumference. So that's, that's the idea we will explore in this sequence for a little bit. So let's just get right into it and let's start in a downward facing dog. Nice. And then press yourself in. So just organize yourself on your dog. Good. If you want to know how to organize, measure yourself, you can check out the other videos that we have. We'll explore that or go through this in further detail. Nice. She knows this one really well. So she comes forward to a plank and sets herself up, sets herself up in right angles. And then she can lift her butt, bend her knees and look forward slightly. Nice. And now what we have her, what, do you, what we have here now is that she's organized on a central line. So she has her center. So she's on her spit from the crown of her head all the way up to our tail. But the goal is not to be a straight line. The goal is to be a sphere. So you don't want to be rigid. You want to, you want to be bouncy and radiant, radiant in a way. So now let's spin around this central line. So slide your left hand back about a palm print. Yep. And then keep it on the left side of your mat for a little bit. Yep. And now take your right hand and cup your outer left heel for a twist. Good. And instead of pulling yourself towards your right heel, imagine you lengthen your spit forward so that you're staying on that central line we, we just talked about. Good. But you want to find the fit from your heel to the center of your palm. And then don't look towards your butt Pia looks forward and underneath her right arm. Great. So that she's not losing her central channel. Great. And then you can even throw your right knee into your right armpit, which she has really well. Good. Nice. And then bring your right hand down and your left hand finds the outer right heel. Like a ball fitting in a mitt. Good. And then don't look towards me. Look towards the blocks. Good. Nice. And then throw your left knee forward into your left armpit. And keep your left body bone elevate it and lengthen the crown of your head forward so you're still on your spit you're just a big revolution around it now take your left hand in the middle where your hands are and then your right hand finds the outer left heel again and just look around and spin around 180 degrees towards the left side good and now cross your right arm under the left in front so cross it under that's it and then the left hand finds the right heel again good Nice. Spin around. Good. And then your left hand crosses under the right in front. And then you need to ever so slightly reach out, which she did beautifully, so that she's not ending up in a hang. She's still in a dog. And now you can just switch between left and right and just cross the arm under. So just braiding in. Good. The definition of a twist is a revolution around your central line, so that she in the end has a 360 degree vision around herself. Good. And then you can keep your arms aligned with your ears, looking all the way around. So nice. And then feel free to do another 30 of these if you're, if you're loving it. Otherwise, let's move on and let's move it back into a dog. Yeah, maybe check your measure. It got a little short. Mine always gets a little short when I do it. Great. And let's explore this in a different way. So now cross your right leg over your left. Yep. So bring your feet in the middle of your mat so that your feet are about hip distance and your knees are really spooning each other. So now her left knee or left leg is in the front of her right knee. Now bring the left hand in the middle where your hands are, like slightly under your face almost. Yep. Good. Now shift the weight forward so that you have a right angle in your left wrist. 
Good, and then spin around yourself towards the right and unfurl into a wheel. Keep your arms reaching up first, yes. And then shift the weight forward. And then also you get to see she has a right angle again underneath underneath herself so that she turns herself into herself into a sphere, but she has this geometry underpinning it. And then swim the arm forward and over your head. Oopsies, <laughs> and then refold it back into your cross-legged dog. Good, now the right hand, the, the hand goes where your left hand is. You step the right foot over your left. So bring it all the way over. This one steps all the way over, mm -hmm. around. That's it. And now shift the weight forward again. Come onto your fingertips on the left hand and then you reach it up as you unfurl towards the left side. Good, and then swim the arm forward and over and refold it into this cross-legged dog. The left hand goes where your right hand is. Left foot steps over, other way. That, this foot steps over, yes. It's a little confusing in the beginning. And then swim around yourself towards the right side again. Arm reaches up and then swim the arm forward. Good, and then keep switching between the left and the right. So it's always the back foot that steps forward. This one, yes. Good, and then spin towards the left. And then you wanna do a couple of those so that you really find the fluency in it. Good, so that it, in the end, it's like you're writing in cursive. You can't really tell where the pose begins and where it ends. And she's still on her central channel and she's just a big revolution around it. Nice. So there's really this pattern that you that is that is being pulled through this whole sequence or through the practice in general. So nice. Good, and then let's move it back into a dog. Beautiful. Great, bend your knees, stick your butt way, way up. And then slide your right shin forward for a pigeon. Good. Bring your right knee out to the right side so that your hips are really stable at three o'clock and nine o'clock. Good. You can also elevate your pelvis with a blanket, which, is, which feels really nice that you're plugged into something. And then fold yourself forward. You can take your, your blocks under your sternum and one under your forehead if you want something or like a boundary. Good. And then feel free to stay here for a count of 10 or so. If your pigeon is a nightmare, you can also do lower count and then add on over time. Or if you love it, do this for 10 minutes. Great. But then at some point, when you when you finish your count, you can walk your hands over towards the right. Nice. And then bend your elbow in line with your right knee and make a fist with your left hand and you cup it with the right and then spin around yourself. Great. So Pia is really smart because she used the block now as a pillow. I can make it even higher for her so that she's really um, still on her spit. Because again, from the crown of her head up through her tail, she hasn't lost it. And she's just spinning around herself. Good. And then you can do this on the other side. So walk your hands over towards the left. Bring your right elbow down. Let's bring it to 10 o'clock. Make a fist and cup it with your hand like a ball fitting in a mitt. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then you can walk your hands back to the middle. And then move it back to a dog. Great. And then when you've had that, let's do it on the other side. So your left chin comes forward. Nice. Mostly we have one side that works better than the other. So if you have scaffolding, if you have something you want to put underneath yourself, do that and make a throne and then you can fold down and set a count for yourself and commit to it. The mind likes to have a finish line. Nice. When you've finished your 50th breath, you walk your hands to the left. And bring your right elbow down, make a fist and cup it with the left, and then spin around her, yourself. So you lengthen the crown of your head forward as your tailbone reaches back. Maybe your nose can look straight up and your right eye looks up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. And then do the other side. 
So she has her center. And by, by finding it or by referencing it, she has her circumference and the space in between. Beautiful. And then move it back to the dog. So good. You can pedal out your legs and then at some point you can bring your knees down and swing your feet forward. And let's move it into a forward fold. Yes. So for this forward fold, um, it's, it's a little more restorative than maybe the one that you know. So it's not about a good hamstring stretch, which this one is in a way anyways, but you wanna have your feet hip distance and but your knees are slightly bent. So that now as she's, as she's folding forward, you hinge from the hips and you hold onto the outer corners of your feet. And the goal is to find your belly on your thighs and your knees into your armpits. So this might mean some people need to bend their knees a lot. Beautiful. Now we're using the block here is as a pillow. Lift here. Yeah, like that. If this is too high, you can also do it lower. And she really has this one. Nice. Great. And this is where you can just stay for as long as you like. This is a being pose after doing so much. It's really just nice to listen to the sound of your breath. And enjoying this idea of fitting yourself. For some people, this is really taxing and agitating. For some people, this feels really soothing and nice. And then again here, as always, commit to account. So that the physical aspect of the practice is like shaping an origami cup and then the meditation or those being poses is like filling it all up and drinking it. I'll leave her in here for a little bit. If you want to add a Shavasana, feel free to do so. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you're interested in adding music to this video, you'll find a playlist in the subscription box. And if you want to find more videos or follow us on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.